Well, who would have thought it? Three match unbeaten run. Are we going to replicate what we did at Fleetwood, where we led them from the relegation zone to the league title? Well, who knows, but I know what will help today is a win in the East Anglian Derby. It's going to be a good one. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 4 of Season 7 of The Journeyman with Ipswich Town. I was going to say Boston United there, it's a long time since that happened. Uh, but today we will be playing Norwich in the East Anglian Derby and then we will be playing Plymouth in the league away from home. So, since the last episode, just the one game, we played Sheffield Wednesday, we were 2-0 up in this one. No, we weren't. We were 2-1 up in it, and I thought, hmm, three in a row, but then Sam Gallagher scored uh, to make it 2-2, uh, and, and that was that was it for that match. But we are 18th in the table. We're out of the relegation zone, which is fantastic, uh, and hopefully we can start pushing on up the league, keep the, the squad gelled, and I'm starting to uh, understand who are the better players, who are the, the crap players, and, uh, and all of that. So, Let's have a look at the team that we're going to be playing today. Aaron Ramsdale will start in goal with John Joe Kenny, uh, Landall Small and, and Fox in defence. We've then got Watson, Arda and McEachran in the middle with Coombson starting behind Paul Glatzel and Abel Hernandez up top. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Ipswich versus Norwich. We're at home, so I give us the slight advantage. I don't know uh, whereabouts Norwich are in the league, to be quite honest with you, but... They always seem to do well in Football Manager. Um, I remember a few years ago, uh, I think it was FM14 or something like that, I did a bit of a journeyman uh, before YouTube and, um, and Norwich got took over by Tycoon and, and I took over them uh, from Bayern Munich or something silly like that, so... It was it was quite fun and small and... Oh, it's offside. It's offside. Never mind. Uh, it was a good start of the game there. A nice little cross in and a, a good header by Chris Smallen, who's been a, a bit of a surprise for me. I think, you know, I was expecting him to, uh, to be a bit of a backup, but he's definitely our main centre-back at the moment. He has Glatzel now to Abel Hernandez, just wide. A positive start from us, though. We look like we, we want it, to be honest with you, and, and that's... That's all I can ask for at the moment. Here's Abel Hernandez <clears throat> in the middle, and it's Glatzel who puts it into the back of the net, but it is offside again. Unbelievable. Two disallowed goals in the first 15 minutes for us here. Oh, dear. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have to certainly push hard today because um, football manager seems to be against us. Cresswell... Gets it wide to Nelson Oliveira now. Nelson Oliveira on the ball. Gets it in. Then it's Murphy and it's 1-0. And just as I predicted, you know, two disallowed goals. And then all of a sudden, their first chances. Stick it in the back of the net. We're 1-0 down. And sadness time comes across Portman Road. But, uh, uh just predictable really what football manager does to you we've been the better team so far we look like we want a little bit more than them but we haven't quite had that finished article yet here's Abel Hernandez though if we keep pushing uh, I'm pretty sure that we can go on and win this game here's Fox on the ball Fox to McEachran now Abel Hernandez forward to Glatzel what a chance easy finish he did his best to miss it but he puts it in the back of the net and gets his standard goal when you guys are watching and Paul Glatzel sticking it in the back of the net. It's one all now. Um, and that was a pretty good move, to be honest with you. McEachran, Abel Hernandez, forward through to Glatzel. Don't know why he went that side of the goal, but he did. And it's one all. And I can't complain because Paul Glatzel is scoring for fun again, which is fantastic to see. Can we go in at half time in the lead? That is the question. Glatzel nods it down. Now he has Kenny. Kenny on the ball, but Sunday. Oh, tackles him out, and here's Murphy, and it's Lewis, and it's 2-1, and we go into half... Well, we're, we're probably going to go into half-time behind. Oh, it's so annoying, because we have been the better team, but twice now we've been caught with one of those 
little balls across the box and Lewis has stuck it in inside the six yard box and it's now 2-1 I don't think we're going to get anything before half time so we're going to have to bring them in give them the Hanard Rollick and uh, hope for a positive performance in this second half because 2-1 is not good enough at half time uh, and I'm saying where is the passion but they you know, but I can't really fault the team. I think they've been very unlucky so far in this first half. And I think if we do keep playing the way we did, we will win this game. Ramsdale forward now to Abel Hernandez, who nods it down to Coombson. Forward to Glatzel, and he puts it in. Easy as you like. 2-2, and that's Glatzel's third goal of the game. Unfortunately, one of them was disallowed earlier on. But a lovely boot forward by Ramsdale. Wonderful header by Hernandez, good pass through by Coombson, who has really come out of his shell in that sort of role behind the striker. He has looked very, very dangerous uh, in this recent uh, resurgence. Here's Coombson, gets it forward to Abel Hernandez, another good ball through. Hernandez, good save. Mm, maybe Hernandez needs to come off. I think maybe he does, and we'll put on Andre Gray. Can he play as a poacher? Maybe he can. I'm not switching glats all round. Take a sip of the tea. We know that always works. 20 minutes to go in this match. Can we pull something out here? Josh McEachern's going to come off. We're going to bring on uh, Dizel, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. <clears throat> come on, Andre Dizel. <sighs> 80 minutes gone. Can we push on here? Coombson's playing too well. Watson is going to be the man to come off. We're going to bring on Ian Watkins and see what he can do. We're going to play two advanced playmakers in midfield, which is going to make old lady players weep because she her theory of only one playmaker per team uh, is really going... Uh, I'm really going against that in this episode. We're going to go attack. And well, he has fair cloth. Oh, I thought that was... Um, I thought that was good. There's um, a chance for them to score there, but it wasn't. Here's Lewis. This could be a chance for them. Platt, forward to Sunday. Oh, oh, off his back. And out for a corner kick. I tell you what, Norwich really don't deserve to win this game. Here's Murphy. Murphy on the ball. Murphy into the middle. Fox away. And here's Andre Gray. Can we get them on the counter-attack? Here's Coombson. Oh, how how did we not make a chance from that? Got three minutes of added time. We're certainly running out of time. Coombson into the middle. Close. Gets it away. Here's Watkins now to Coombson. And that's over the bar. And that is going to be full-time. Surely... The ref is going to blow. There we go. Full time 2-2. Two, two. I guess we'll take it. It's a point against a top six team that we certainly wouldn't have got a few games ago. So it looks like the change of tactic is working. And we're certainly scoring goals again. But Paul Glatzel seems to be carrying us. Can we uh, carry it through into the Plymouth game? One of the longest trips of the season. Right guys, here we are for the Plymouth game. I am uh, going with pretty much an unchanged lineup. The only change we've brought in is Andre Dezel because uh, Josh McEachern has picked up a little bit of a knock since the last episode. So uh, we're going to play Andre Dezel. So let's get into it. Uh, hopefully we can get another positive performance and keep on moving up the league. That will be really good extend our unbeaten run to five and uh and all of a sudden this season is starting to turn around and um you know <laughs> it's uh it's all gonna be good isn't it it's all gonna turn out well in the end we're gonna be back in the premier league at the end of the season and we're, we're gonna be really happy uh, our stock will have risen we'll be manager of ac milan you mark my words i'm calling it now we're gonna be AC Milan manager at the end of the season. Um, first 20 minutes, nothing happening at all. He has Fox on the ball. Now to Glatzel. Ooh, Coil. Now to Sands. Love back. Davies. Davies on the ball. Now to Hudson Obdi. Now to Lovelock. Lovelock. 
That's for the coil. This is a chance coil into the middle. It's away. Here's Goss. Now to Ob Obdoy. Haynes into the middle. It's away. Coil. Phillips. Obdoy. Into the middle. Oh, good save. Good save. That was a big chance for Plymouth there. Fox. Arter. Now to Fox again. He has Dizelle. Dizelle to Watson. Watson on the ball. Oh, the, oh good tackle, Dizelle. Oh, long away. Fox. Dizelle. <laughs> Fox. He has Arter. Now to Coombson. Coombson to Watson. Watson for the Glatzel. Paul Glatzel is a hero. Wow. That's number 10 already for Paul Glatzel in this season. He is a special player. He really is. and I'd love to take him wherever we go, but I don't know how possible that's going to be. It's only going to be a matter of time before Liverpool surely make him their first choice striker, but what a fantastic player he is. Coombson is injured, which is a, a terrible injury for us because he has been so integral to the team. Um, and we might bring on Ian Watkins and see what he can do. Uh, oops. Oh, oh, I thought I'd wrecked it there. Uh, God against complacency. We'll bring on Ian Watkins and start the second half. Come on, lads. Come on, boys. And we're catching up to Fleetwood at this rate. Here's Arter. Smallin. Ramsdale gets it away. Here's Abel Hernandez. Now to Dizelle. That's forward to Glatzel. Can he get another one? Paul Glatzel puts it into the back of the net. Number four in today's episode for him. What a fantastic player he is. I just can't believe how we've stumbled across him. And I can't believe we didn't use him at Burton. How different things could have been at Burton if we'd played Paul Glatzel. That's just unbelievable. Here's Watkins. Gets it into the middle. Obdoy. Here's Landel. Landel. Can he get it forward? He can. Here's Watson. Now to Dezel. To Watkins. To Glatzel. To Hernandez. What a goal that is. That was fantastic football. And we're now 3-0 up against Plymouth. And we're, we're starting to play some really, really good football. Landel, passed it to Watson, passed it to Dazell, just one touch football. I am mesmerised by that goal. That that was just fabulous. You know, and that's what makes football manager. When you see your team make a goal like that, it is top notch. And what a save that was by Ramsdale, by the way. Phillips into the middle, and it's a goal kick. Yes. 3-0 up. That is what we're talking about. Here's Lavery now. Lavery. Sands Lovebrook. Or Lovelock, sorry. Coyle. Phillips. Lovelock. Oh, that's punishment for getting his name wrong. It's his first ever goal. For Plymouth. Um, but we're not at panic stations yet. It was a good finish though. It was a good finish. Seventy minutes gone. Time to make a change. Uh, Harry Arter not having the best of times, so I think we're going to bring on Mark Fallows. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and shall we bring on Kieran Clark for Chris Small and give Kieran Clark a bit of a run out? Phillips into the middle. It's Lavery. Hall, Phillips, please don't score another one. Goss, oof. that was too close. Too close. Is that Sam Goss? Is that what his name is? Can't tell. Ten minutes to go, though. 3 1 up. Looking very, very good indeed. Fleetwood are 1 0 ahead at Birmingham. Here's Fallows now to Dizelle. Watkins, Watson, Glatzel. Abel Hernandez into the middle. It's Glatzel's hat-trick. Yes, 4-1 up now. 
Abel Hernandez with the assist, and I called it at the start of the season. I said Hernandez and um, and Glatzel could well be the new Asombolonga Glatzel partnership that we had at Fleetwood. And uh, well, Paul Glatzel is just fantastic. Was that a perfect hat trick? You guys will have to let me know. I know he definitely did one with his left foot. Did he do one with his right foot? Because that was a header. So that is sensational. Can he get his fourth here? Here's Watson. Now Clark. Clark to Fox. Fox now to Dazelle. Dazelle forward to Glatzel. Watkins. Watkins forward to Glatzel. Good save by George Long there. I uh, tell you what, Paul Glatzel is in the mood today. And that's, what, five goals this episode? That could have been a sixth. <sighs> what a player we've got on our hands. And he's certainly got his mojo back. <sighs> How? How did Fleetwood not? get promoted last season with him at the club. Unbelievable. Here's Coyle. Good tackle there by Kenny and it's away. And there is full time. 4-1, five games in the league unbeaten. We've won three of those five. We scored a lot of goals in that time as well. I think things are back on track everybody. So we can be really, really happy and we can start looking up the table for the first time in a long time, we can start looking at maybe trying to get back into those playoff positions. Be positive and try and get our stock uh, back up to the heights of, of what it was when we were at Fleetwood. Um, and try and, and get back into the the glorified region of the Premier League and see what Glatzel can do there. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.